Okay, what is the turkey game bird? Can somebody tell me? Okay, it is the turkey. That's the game bird. What is the turkey game animal? It is the deer. And those are local animals that would feed a lot of people in one meal. Okay, these are called baskets. Traditionally, they use honeysuckle or buckbrush. Uh, it's a little reddish, pinkish, maroon berried plant. Uh, it grows during the winter along our fence lines. The root that grows right on top of the ground, we gather that. You need about 200 of these to make such a large basket. There's many designs if you learn how to weave, but a turkey basket is always a double wall basket. That's where you weave up and then you weave back down on the outside. And if you're going to do lids, there's certain ways you do your top so your lid will just fit. Way it should. So the honeysuckle and the buckbrush basket. There's also split oak, which is this style. Today we'd call it a flat reed, but it's oak and then we think it's been split, so they call it a split oak basket. These are other purse baskets from uh, North Carolina. They're very skillful. Here's some of the uh, clay pots, this little small hole. Uh, what do you think this was to hold? What was this used for? Okay, this was the seed, something to store seeds in being that small. So they used pots and baskets to store. Of course, the pots may store water. And the baskets stored nuts or whatever they happened to gather. Some of the natural dyes for the baskets were bloodroot, which is this color, or the walnut, which is that color. What kind of nut is this? This is the hickory nut. What's the name of the food item that is made from this today? Okay, it's called Kanechi. It is ground up. But now the catch on this is you don't take it way up because you hit it too hard, it's going to bounce out. So keep it about three inches up. And then if you can twist, it starts mushroom. take these hickory nuts and now the way we do it we crush up the whole nut and all just continually pound it it'll go from dust to from powder until it gets uh, liquidy again oily until it's mush like glue so you just keep pounding until you get that substance then we store it long time ago during the winters when there was no fish there was no meat but they had nuts. They would prepare these nuts this way. That way they would still have meat for that, or supplement for meat for those winners. But the turkeys call it kanechi. These are some of the items that I need you to become familiar with uh, for some of our competitions and our classroom presentations. Oh, stand that dog, huh? It takes about three hours. Needed a, a kitchen stove, really. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah.